Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. So now we will talk about the fourth category that is the decomposers. So let us see what are decomposers. So we spoke about producers, we spoke about consumers and now this is the third one that is decomposers. Now the name decomposers it says that it helps in decomposition. Decomposition of what? Decomposition of dead organisms. So when a living organism dies, so it is made up of all organic matter. So that decomposition is done by other living organisms called decomposers. So these are organisms which feed on dead bodies of producers and consumers. So producers, they prepare their own food. Consumers, they depend on producers either directly or indirectly. And decomposers, they feed on the dead bodies of producers and consumers. That means when any plant or animal, they dies, so their dead bodies are being eaten upon by the decomposers. So basically what we see, we saw that for consumers, we saw that some animals feed on some other animals. Right, but this decomposers play a very important role because had decomposers be not been there, in that case, what would happen when animals or plants die? The dead bodies will uh, keep on accumulating and it will spread pollution. Right, so there has to be somebody who can eat the dead bodies itself so that it will not cause pollution, and at the same time, some other set of organisms will also be able to survive due to the presence of dead bodies. So they are also known as saprotrophs. Now why they are called saprotrophs? Sapro means uh, dead and decaying matter. So they depend on dead and decaying matter. So they are called saprotrophs. So basically we, st uh, we spoke about three categories of living organisms that is producer, consumer and decomposer. So producers are called autotrophs, consumers are called heterotrophs and decomposers are called saprotrophs. So these are their other names. Now examples of decomposers, most popular example would be bacteria and fungi. So these are the two set of microorganisms which are extremely helpful in decomposition of dead and decaying matter. So far we have spoken about what is ecosystem, what are the different types of ecosystem and the different components of ecosystem. So now we will talk about some of the important aspects of ecosystem. So it is not only about the components or the types of ecosystem that is important, it is also important that how exactly ecosystem plays an important role in this universe. So for that we need to talk about these important aspects of ecosystem. Now some of the aspects which we will discuss here are productivity, decomposition, energy flow and nutrient cycling. So these four aspects together will actually help you understand the entire concept and the entire working of an ecosystem. So we will start with productivity. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.